Y'all, I got a new species today we haven't played with yet. Check this out, the black buck skull. How cool is this? Thank goodness for good friends. Uh, he said, hey man, I'll bring it to you. You can do it and we'll put it together and film. Beautiful little spiral horns. It's already been skinned. He did a fantastic job of soaking it. All I'm gonna do is remove what's left here, get it in the pot, boil, get these horns off, and then we'll whiten her up just like normal. I actually think I'm gonna keep that bottom jaw because I think how cool would this thing look on a pedestal? Yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching. Welcome y'all. My name is Ryan Olson. I am the owner of Whitebone Creations and I have a passion for teaching people how to clean skulls. It's important to respect that animal for the experience in the field. You get to learn a lot about that animal. It's a great way for some side money and it feels good to see something go from gross to beautiful all in a matter of an hour. My first rule here is to remove as much meat, tissue, and hide as you can before you start the boil. Now I am a boiler, meaning I'm gonna put this whole head down into a pot, bring it to a boil, reduce it to a simmer to try and cook off all the meat and tissue. And in this case, to remove the horns from the horn core. About 20 minutes into the boil, I'm able to pop off that first cap. It's really difficult. You have to twist in the direction that that horn would come off. I get one of them off, but the other one just absolutely does not want to come off. I learned later that there was a little bit of a bone spur that was catching the horn. Although that's frustrating, that's how we learn. From here, I'm going to take a power washer and spray into every hole in every orifice. Anywhere there's meat or tissue, I'm going to make it go away. You can expect that washing to take about a good 15 minutes of spraying. Once I've got it pretty clean around the back of the head, I like to take a screwdriver or something and I like to pry out the ear butts, the auditory bull, and then I take a drill motor and I wallow out that hole. So by removing them now, I can get all that stuff that's connected in there out real easy and clean. I also take a pair of forceps and I reach into the nasal cavity. I pull out that spiraled nose bone and all of the junk that's up in there. That'll essentially help me degrease this skull, get out any sort of potential area that could create growth in the future. This beautiful skeletal shell representative of a black buck skull. From here, I power wash out the brain and give it one good final rinse. Now that I've got the skull clean, I don't ever, ever, ever want to smack the horn with a hammer. A lot of times to loosen horns, I give it a little smack. If there's no tissue on the bone that's holding everything together, you will absolutely smack and break that thing in a bunch of pieces. So I just continue to simmer, twist, simmer, twist until eventually it just popped off there. Now I broke a little horn core off inside the horn cap, which I dug out. Then I just power wash off the rest of the goop, and then I'm gonna drop it in the color batch. For those of you that are new here, essentially now that we have a clean skull, we're gonna whiten and degrease using a mixture of peroxide and water. This particular product in this film is an aqua silk. It's very important that you get a shock oxidizer. It reads on the bottle that it has 27% by volume liquid peroxide in it. I put a half gallon in there to about four gallons of water. I bring it to a boil and it will turn all the extra stuff that's on that skull that I didn't see into a yellow gelatinous gummy mess. I power wash all that out, give it a really good rinse, set it in front of a fan to dry, and it should be a beautiful finished product. I also wash the inside and outside of the horns, and then I set them in a drying rack so nothing can go up inside and say lay an egg or whatever. 
Fast forward 24 hours. Ah, we saw my meat and skin. Let's pause for a little Mr. Bean's time. Oh, that's a good boy. Black buck, clean and dry, beautiful. Love it. That is a dry fit, just to make sure everything goes on good. And I'm gonna epoxy them on. Now, when I get them to this point, I'm gonna give them a little bit of a smack. And today, I'm gonna use this, uh, just JV Weld. This is a steel reinforced epoxy. Ultimately, it's just a colored two-part epoxy. That's what I'm gonna use today. dry that way just so it doesn't run out. Almost done y'all. I'm gonna put on a coat of flooring mop and glow. I get lots of questions about, hey, we don't have mop and glow in our country. What else is there? I don't know. So if you find something, share it with all of us and then I'll shout it out to the world. Ooh, <laughs> Black buck, finito, all finished up. How beautiful is this critter? Just another beautiful animal. If you wanted to put the bottom jaw on it, it looks about like that. Kind of cool looking. To each his own. Don't be afraid to try. Thank you for watching and go be kind to one another.